Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last time we made it to this household and I got some feedback from a couple of my friends on the last video and I'm going to change some settings right now for you all. Uh, hopefully there is a setting for it. That uh, it was kind of shaking quite a bit. So the uh, camera sensitivity was way too high. So let's try this. That's a little bit better, but I think we can go a little bit lower than that. Let's try that. Yeah, this is much, much better. It's still, eh, still a little bit quick, but I think this is going to be a lot better. Anyway, this time we're going to see if we can get some more information about that previous yet? fire don't have all day. let's see does she have anything to say what were you actually um, doing before you picked me up from the airport what do you mean you gave may a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here a non-answer yeah because i went to the police station and and they're still going through the evidence interesting and when they found out I was May's cousin, they started laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So I went to check out the Hathorn house myself. But I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. I found his office, but he kinda never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well. But enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right. Are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. This tour sounds interesting. Mm. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. The kitchen table has mm -hmm. a great view out into the neighborhood. Mm, anything over here that I can click? Mm, I suppose not. What about here? Anything I can look at? Drawers I can snoop around in? Be a creeper? No? No, really? Huh. Okay. It's an interesting candle. Kind of creepy looking. Hmm. Mm hmm. I suppose I should just try and go talk to May at this point, maybe? Or sh can I go upstairs? Oh, I can. Is it a bad idea to go snooping around like this? I probably, probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Hmm. Oops. Wrong door. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. What about this room? End of the hall. The neighborhood mm -hmm. looks peaceful from up here. Okay. Huh? That's my luggage, I suppose. There's another candle creepy candle a good night's rest improves memory and retention over here we got a bed it's too early for bed huh hmm what's this tegan's photo 
I would like to examine you. What does this mean? Coven. Are they like a cult? Is her and her, are her and her friends a cult? I want to check out the little bag in the corner. Well, I suppose I can't. There doesn't seem to be anything else that I can check out in this room. Um, the boxes up here? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see if we can't head down this side of the hall. Can I not? Oh, I guess I can't go over there. All right, that's fine. Oh, oh, controls, please. There we go. Jeez. All right, let's go this way. Anything else I can do here? Huh. Actual photos of people. I wonder if this is like some of the developers photos or something. Like that they uh, allowed to put in the game or whatever. That could be it. Deirdre's convertible. Oh, these are cool. Looks strikingly familiar. Is that a reference? Now that's handy. Oh. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. Hmm. Got an open Hiking book. The Patagonian Highlands, Outback Safari, Survival Guide for the Rainforest of Myanmar. The Perrys have a real taste for adventure. That they do. You know, to me, when I first saw the, the Perry girls, they looked Asian to me for some reason. And they're clearly, like, not Asian. But then why do they look so Asian in their models? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ooh, she has a scar. The house? Ugh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? What's up with this scar? Hi. I'm done talking, okay? Hmm, alright. It's not very helpful. I guess we'll just go. Ned! Hi! Ned! How have you been? Oh, Ned. Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, time doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on. Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. <gasps> Who's uh, that? You know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... Yeah. Who was that? Excuse me? Um... Oh, God. I think we should head right for Jesus. the judge. Jesus, scared me. Hello. What is this? Oh god, that face is scary. Maybe check out the mm. witch tour? Something might pop out at us. Uh, are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool. And you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? I mean, it could be a good idea. I saw a magnifying glass. Where? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Guess we can. Have... I think we oh, head Jesus! Right. Maybe. Uh, I think we. Hmm. All right. Let's get in the car. I would like to go on that witch tour. Might learn something. Might see some clues. She right behind me again? She is. Alright. It's over here. Okay. Oh. Ah.
Talk to Tegan in the museum. Talk to Judge Stanforth. Okay. We can do those things. I kind of want to know what this is all about, though. Visitors, by now you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh. This should be interesting. The world okay. would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The she truth is, is magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Most exist now only in secret. And they may be standing among you even now. It is said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. <gasps> How did you do that? Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the Witches of Salem, mm. I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. Austria, she was in that picture, right? Magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Okay. I will do just that. Let me look at this photo again. That's definitely her, right? Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Me? I'm almost positive Never. it is. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? Uh, give me one second, guys. My Steam notifications okay. keep popping Sorry up. about the cut. So. Uh, I just wanted to turn that off because I kept getting notification spam. I don't know if you guys could see it in the video. I guess I'll find out as I'm editing this, but anyway. That trick. <laughs> A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although... If you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. How often do uh -huh. you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good. Because I've already spoken with them. So, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Have you lived in Salem mm -hmm. for long? Born and raised. Sketchy. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you were looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. That's a lie. Oh, well. You clearly know them. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was well enough to be in a photo. 
That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And Mary? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their... I don't think she burned down the half house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. Do you uh -huh. really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? Mm -hmm. How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword living. The world is composed oh of my two God, equal please. Lights, dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. The plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a Painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb. The dark will appear, usually when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem, because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. Talk to you later. Cool. That's very interesting. Oh. Thank you. Is there some significance with these scandals? Because I'm sensing that there's some significance. Do you always have to be right behind me like that? Uh, I want to go see what this is about. But I can't. Or can I? Spectre may be hanging over Salem. That doesn't keep the town from getting into the Halloween spirit. A specter, a specter. No, uh, I want to go over there. I guess I can't. It's kind of lame. All right, let's go this way, I guess. Miss the opening hours. Better luck tomorrow. Now this accused witches group shows up from out of nowhere and thinks they're entitled to the Hathorn property. Didn't they find proof for their claim? It's only fair. How far back do these reparations have to go? It's been hundreds of years. Nobody owes these loudmouths squat. It's a bid for attention and money. Must every response be outrage? I miss the peace and quiet. Okay. Interesting. How about this store? Miss Bo. I heard there's a new exhibition coming up at the museum. Mm hmm. Fire at Hathorn House. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. May Perry. You don't think she'd do it again, do you? She was so young. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hmm. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. Wow. Rude. Okay. Oh, I can go over here. So this is the courthouse, I suppose. 
But I actually think this might be a good place to stop. So next time on uh, Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem, we'll try to see if we can find Judge Danforth, which apparently he's to the right. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you in the next video.